Chief, what has been bothering you today? These are very troubling times. Taxes keep piling up. And the people have no way of paying them, no matter how hard they may try to make ends meet. The Emperor is taking different men from all over the country to build that wall. Half the men in our village have been taken away. Who will work on the fields and pay the taxes now? There is nobody left to keep us afloat. But you, your ancestors are nobles. You don't need to worry about having to do hard labor. I may not have a name for myself just yet, but I also can do labor like the rest of the villagers in the country. Eat well, and take care not to choke, okay? Huh? <laughs> so, Hanshin, what about now? What do you plan on doing? I have an idea. The Huayi County is in need of horses. There's only one ranch within a hundred mile radius. The supply of horses for the officials is not even enough. I was planning on buying horses from up north. Moreover, mares and stallions. Six mares and two stallions. That's about right. It'll take three months to get back here from the north. And I plan to breed them on the way back. As soon as I get back to Waiye, I'll have 12 horses. I'll sell one or two horses for money. The rest I'll keep to breed. And I'll be able to have my own horse ranch with no problems. Oh, well. That sounds like a good plan. What are you waiting for? You have a plan, right? You should leave as soon as possible. I don't have money. Uh, you could always borrow money from the noble families or their friends, then pay them back. They can allow that. And more important than that, where do I find horses up north? Well, if you haven't got the capital and have no way of getting any. I'm afraid that idea is just wishful thinking on your part. Forget it, forget it. That's not what I really want anyway. Then, what is your real ambition? I haven't thought about it. <laughs> well, all right. If you don't want to tell me, then I'm not going to force you to. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> eat. Am I late? Did you already eat dinner? Bold of you to come back. You know we're not rich, and we don't have a lot of food. You're another mouth to feed. I'm telling you, you're gonna be the death of all of us here someday. You're making this extremely difficult for my husband. Leftovers would be all right. Leftovers? Leftovers? A huang? A huang? Here you go, boy. Have some. Eat it all up, okay? You need all the strength you can when guarding the house. At least you're useful. But to be the fully grown man and still get nothing in return? Now, doesn't that sound like a complete waste? It's better to raise a dog. Now be a good boy and eat up. Come on, eat up. There you go. What a good boy. said something very unpleasant. You must have been offended by all that. I'm right, aren't I? I really can't blame your wife. It's time I started thinking about my own future. All right. If you feel that way, I won't force you to stay. A man should have great ambitions. And Chen, you're intelligent and talented too. I'm sure that you will achieve great things. Hey, how much 
for a gin of this. Go away, go away. Didn't you hear me? I said how much. Hey, Miss Yito. You're crazy. Hey, take a look at what? Father, I want a horse. I'm sure. You want this? Mm. Excuse me. How much for the straw horse? Just me. What do you think it's worth? What I think it's worth? You must be crazy. Come on, let's buy something else. But I wanted the horse. No, let's Detail, get it. Look, isn't that man your crazy friend? I was wondering why I haven't seen him around lately. So this is where he's been. Come, let's say hello. Sword. 
kill me right now. Strike me right here. I don't kill. Well then. I think that settles that. So much for the sword. <laughs> if you're not going to kill me, then crawl between my legs. I'm waiting. Smells like bait anyway. I'm trying to fish. <laughs> I'm not hungry. You know, boy, I come down here to wash clothes every day. I 
I'm getting older. And my appetite isn't what it used to be. If you're hungry, you can find me down here any afternoon. from the waves and tries to stop us. There was no way for us to defeat the shark. The closer we got, the harder it became. We've already made the offerings we need, and so the immortals know of what we seek. They have no reason not to bestow it, but in order for us to reach the island, we have to find a way onto it. If we can't get there safely, then we have no choice but to kill the shark. Tell me, how do you suppose we can kill the shark? Your Majesty, I fear this beast is beyond my knowledge. The shark is a hundred chang in length and ten chang wide. Escaping it was hard. We barely escape with our lives, let alone killing the massive beast. So you're saying if the shark is killed, then you can set foot on the island? Not only can we bring the elixir to you, but we can convince the immortal to come back with us. He can travel the world alongside your majesty, and he can share his wisdom with you too. Now, your majesty, you are well traveled. Tell me, have you seen this shark? I have never heard of it, nor have I seen it. This is quite a coincidence. You see, last night, I dreamt I was fighting a large monster but it defeated me. And it claimed to be a god of the sea. It transformed into its true form after, that of a normal person. Could this dream of mine be related to the shark? Your Majesty, I believe that the shark is indeed a god of the sea. And after all, human beings, we're created in the image of the gods, were we not? Perhaps the shark is merely the god's bodily form, while the monster is the god's spiritual form. That's what I thought. Wei well, Liao! Uh, your Majesty. Now then, I want you to bring me 100 of the finest archers. Give them the best bows and arrows. I will lead them, and together we will find an elusive sea god. And once we find him, we slay him!
this was not to last. For one day, he grew impatient. And so, he commanded his own. Why are 
me back on this road again. Luan! Yes, Liu Ji. I thought you said this was a hundred miles. Look, we just went in a huge circle. You just made us all dead men. Escaped. Three more escaped? What do we do now? <laughs> Yuji, how are we going to explain Let them, go, let them go. We're all dead men. It's not like it matters. Yuji, we'll get more in the next village. Nonsense. Yeah, we'll agree to right. that. We'll kidnap some to replace them. Come on. Just keep moving. We need to find some replacements. No, just let them go. Okay. Hurry up. Let's go. Hey, you, you. Move it. Move it. Hurry. Counting. We've lost five more. More? We lost another five. So in other words, more than ten people escaped. That's right. Hmm. Listen up. Forget about the escaped men. We're not getting to Lishan on time. It's been raining hard, and we've been lost several times already. We're already running late. And according to the Chin regulations, the punishment is death. When we get there, they'll kill us anyway. <sighs> what do we do now? Your call. We'll do what you say. All right, then. So instead of wasting our lives, let's set those people free. Untie them all. Hurry! Yuji! How dare you speak those words? I'll have your family killed for that! Escaped. We won't arrive there in time. To go there means that we all die. We have no choice. I will be the first to die. So I'm going to run. The rest of you, you are free to leave. I'm not gonna stop you. If you don't go, then follow me. Up to the mountains. You might die there, but you definitely will at home. If you trust me, then come along. But if you don't, you're free to go. I wish you safe journeys. I wish you all well. On your way back home. Let's go. Right. Come on. I'm coming with you. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
along with him when we have finally caught him arrest him yes sir yes sir you over here go what are you doing to us move it sir move father yeah, move it go stop resisting go let's go sent to live with my mother. I'm grateful, Lord Shao. Thank you. I have no idea how to repay you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do. I know that many dangers await Liu Ji in this journey. I was hoping he would make it through those trials and come back home to his family safe and sound. But it appears that bad luck has followed his family home. I feel guilty that all of this had to happen. I can't do anything more. There is nothing else I'm able to do to make things easier for your family. I'm sorry, but you have to remain in here. You need not worry about me, Lord. I can take care of myself. You've done all that you can. He's not a careless person. And for something like this to happen, he must have had no other choice. I am the wife of Luigi. It's right that I share his fate. I have no right to complain now. Do not worry about me. For my father and the magistrate are close friends. They will not let me suffer for long. friend, you will be able to protect him. I certainly hope that I have not asked you for too much. And I hope that you, you will consider what I've asked for my father-in-law's sake. I will make sure that he is treated well. Don't worry. Thank you, my lord. Take care of yourself. This is to be my last meal, then. 
We haven't even had a trial yet, so why are you going to kill me already? <laughs> You've poisoned the food! You came here to kill me, didn't you? I would never do that! Please, I beg you. Mr. I Lee. beg you. Mr. Liu. I'm terrified of poison. Don't kill me with poison, please. I'd rather starve to death than be poisoned. I beg of you, please. Please Mr. don't Liu. let me be poisoned. Liu. I'm not here to poison you, okay? And this will not be your last meal. In fact, all of your meals will be better from now on. What? How can that be? This all sounds too good to be true. Are you lying? I want the truth from you. I want the truth or else I will not eat this. Even if you do kill me, I refuse. <laughs> you know, Mr. Liu, I consider Liu Ji a close friend. I'm doing my job, I can't let you go. But also, as long as I'm alive, you shall live too. I will treat you like my own father. And I will not allow you to die in here. Are you telling me the truth? You're not lying? No. Please let me move, please. Thank you so much. How on earth did my son ever make friends with good people from high places? <laughs> Mr. Liu! Mr. Liu! Mr. Liu! Mr. Liu! Here, you can't have a meal without wine, right? Here! It's not the best wine in town, but it's at least drinkable. Are you a friend of my son as well? Oh, Mr. Liu, I don't just consider Liuji to be a friend. In fact, Liuji is like an older brother to me. What was that? Uh, an older brother? Yes. Oh, I don't understand. How did my son make such good friends? How did he meet such wonderful people like you two? Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu. Wonderful. My name is Cho Ke, and I've come here to pay my respects to you. Uh -oh. I pay my respects to you, sir. I too wish to pay my respects to you, sir. Now quickly, let's prepare yes, the wine. Let's get everything ready. Give it here. Here.